Hey guys, Paradox Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 19 of our Making a Discord Bot in Python series. And uh, in today's video, we are going to be making a user information command that will return their name, user ID, discriminator, uh, when their account was created, um, their top row and if it's a bot or not and all kinds of stuff really so we're going to be doing a command like that i'm sure you've seen one before in other bots but um anyways before we get into coding i want to say two things here one thank you guys for 300 subscribers it means a lot to me and i appreciate you all so much and uh another thing i wanted to say is that uh, as you may know from my last video i am in a partnership with chaotic destiny hosting now uh, chaotic destiny hosting is a uh, discord bot hosting service and uh, i think they also host minecraft servers and even web pages so it's not just for discord bots however it is very good for them as well and um I wanted to say that you guys should definitely check them out. I've been using their service for about a week now, and I absolutely love it. There's almost no it, no downtime at all. There is uh, never a time where uh, their panel goes down unless they're updating it, which uh, I think is pretty rare from what I've seen and also read on their Discord server. So uh, don't ever have to worry about downtime, rarely. and. Um, their uh, servers are also pretty fast. My latency is usually around 60 milliseconds, which is pretty good for a Discord bot. And uh, their panel is very easy to navigate and use. And the best part of all, it is very, very, very cheap. In fact, it is so cheap, it is around 49 cents US dollars per month. And if you're from Europe, I believe that accounts to about uh 0 0.46 euros uh don't quote me on it but i think it's around that area so very cheap and like that is probably the cheapest i've ever seen a uh, server hosting platform charge per month by the way like you're not even charging half of a dollar a month and uh yeah that is pretty pretty uh, low and uh another great part about it is you can use my uh, discount code paradoxial with a capital p and you can save 10 percent on your order so you can get it even lower than what i just said and uh yeah so there's a bunch of different um packages on there as well i think the highest is around 4.69 a month and the lowest is the 49 cents a month and there's also a lifetime um package as well it's like 20 bucks and uh you only pay once and you get access to it for life so that's pretty neat so i definitely recommend you guys check them out very cheap uh bot hosting service if you want to learn more um i do have a video on showing you how it works it is the uh last video i uploaded it is uh part 18 of this series so i definitely recommend you guys check that out but anyways with that out of the way let's go ahead and make the command now spent way too much time talking but anyways uh we're gonna go ahead and type in at client dot command you guys know how this works we always start off with the decorator and then we are going to make our asynchronous function for the command so async def user info we're gonna pass in context as always or you would pass in um, interaction if you're making a slash command. So ctx, and then we're going to pass in a member object. Now, uh, one thing I do want to point out is this only allows you to get the information of members inside your Discord server that you are running the command in. Uh, if you want it to be able to access all information of all users or all across Discord, then we need to make this a user object instead. However, I'm going to leave it as a member object because I'm not really too worried about getting anyone outside of the server's information. So yeah. And uh, we are also going to set this to none as well. And we are doing this because um, we don't want it to just throw an error and end up breaking the code if someone doesn't pass in a member as an argument. So we're going to set it equal to none. And basically uh, what we're going to do with that is if it is none, it's going to send 
an embed containing the author of the command's information cell yourself if you decided not to pass in a member object. And to do that, we are going to type in if member is none, member is equal to ctx dot author. Gee, I can't spell today. And we're also going to make an elif statement or else if. And uh, what that is going to say is member is equal to member. So, um, wait, Ella member is not. That was weird, but all right. So basically what this saying is, it's saying that if the author of the command does not pass in a member object here, then it's going to return the author's information. And if they do, it'll just return the member's information, the one they specify. So that's it for the conditionals there. And now we're going to make our embed. So info embed is equal to a embed object. So discord.embed. We're going to pass in a title. We're going to make an F string here. And uh, we are going to type in member.name. And then we're going to put in an apostrophe to make it look nice. So member.names uh, user information. And give it a description. All information about this user. And we can give it a color. And let's make it the same color as the uh, member's color of their name. So for an example, um, since my name's color is pink, I want it to be pink. So I'm going to type in member color just like that i think if uh the person does not have a roll color it's just going to be white gray or black so it's going to be one of those i think it's actually black yeah i think it's black guys but anyways um info embed and then we're going to set a thumbnail here now, if you don't know what the thumbnail is, it's basically the image. And uh, we're going to set it equal to their uh, avatar. So, URL is going to be member.avatar. Just like that. And now we're going to create some fields. So, info embed.i add field. Name is going to be name. Whoops, not name. L, name. Value is going to be member.name and uh, inline is equal to false. And we're going to copy this a few times. And now we are going to type a nick name discriminator and then ID. top roll now here we're going to type in display name discriminator here and then id here and then top roll here so uh basically now we're gonna have to display the name the nickname the discriminator the id and the top roll now let's uh, get to one for what their current status is and if they're a bot user. So info embed.addField name. Actually, wait, I could just be copying this. What am I doing? So let's see. Status. Changes to status here. And then bot user question mark. Get rid of the colon and then member.bot. And uh, what else is there? So we can make one for a booster since, and it'll basically give you the dates that they boosted the server that you are uh, running the command in. However, if you are using a user object, this is not going to work because, uh, well, if you're running the command on someone outside of your Discord server, how is the code going to be able to display when they boosted that server if they have when they're not in the server? Doesn't really make any sense. Uh, you can try it if you want. However, I don't think it would work. I don't see how it could. 
I think it would just um, throw an error. However, if you want to try it, go right ahead. I could be wrong, guys, so don't quote me on that exactly. But anyways, now um, let's get to the creation date of our uh, user here. So creation date. And uh, what we are going to do is we're going to type in member.created at. Now here's the tricky part. I mean, after uh, typing member.created at, you could leave it like this, and it will just give you a string of numbers and colons and all sorts of stuff. But we don't really want that. We want to format it where it's nice and easy to read. We want it to give you, like, the day of the week and then the month that they were created and, like, the year that they were created in and uh, a 24-hour clock format of the time that they were created at. And to do that, we are going to type in dot under underscore format, just like that. And then we are going to pass in a couple things here. So the first thing we're going to pass in is percent %a. And uh, then a comma inside that string. And then percent %d. And then a period. And then percent %b, percent %y. So what this does is I think it gets the, so the day, no, 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 no. Yeah, the day, and then it gets this one here is for the month. This one here is the day of the week. This one here is the year, I think. And then um, after that, we can put an at symbol. And I know these two, I know these three here, so percent h colon percent m colon and then percent s you can probably guess that's hours minutes and seconds so uh just like that we are pretty much done so we can go ahead and have it be sent so await ctx dot send um embed is equal to video embed just like that and uh, yeah, so we are pretty much done here. Now, another thing I want to address here is I get a lot of people asking me how I know what these attributes are and what they do. Well, there is a nice tool on the internet called a documentation. And if you are new to programming, you may not know what a documentation is. And if you don't, that's okay. A documentation is basically like a source, kind of like a dictionary that's all about the API that you're programming with and uh, I will show you what discord.py's documentation is so what you want to go what you want to go to is here is discord pi dot read the docs dot io slash en slash stable slash api dot html uh, um, I will leave the link in the description so uh, basically what this is here it's an entire website Full of all the information you need to know about discord.py's API and uh, there's stuff for events here so let me find one uh, there's a lot of stuff for events here let's go to guilds so there's a there's stuff for events like on guild join and on guild remove and on guild update uh, same thing when, with on message so there's information about that event there and um, how we found the attributes for our member object we are going to go under discord models and we're going to search for member right here and here's all the attributes I've used so bot color uh, avatar um, name ID and uh, uh, top roll and then I think that's it really I think there, is, there, yeah, there should be a create of that. Where is it at? Yeah, create of that right here. And there's also methods. So like ban, kick, unban, timeout, send, remove roles, mentioned in, all kinds of stuff like that. So that's if you want to ban a member or kick them or unban them. You want to fetch their messages. You want to create a DM with the member. So uh, 
isn't just attributes, it's also for methods as well. You may know this if you watched my moderation video. So that's where I get all these uh, attributes, and this is where I learn about them. I use their documentation. And uh, you can play with all these if you want. Look through them all, see what you like to use, and uh, yeah. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and run our bot. So we are going to go ahead and run it. Should be no errors, yep. And let's go ahead and type user info and leave nothing in it. And it returns my name, nickname, discriminator, ID, top role status, bot user, and the creation date. So obviously bot user is false. And uh, what this does is um, it basically tells you what my status is. And if we go ahead and set mine to online, type in user info. And now it says my status is online. Now let's try to do this with a person. So going to use my alt here and uh, it doesn't give me an avatar because my alt doesn't have one but as you can see it gives my name here discriminator to id and status is offline also not a bot and uh, let's try one on a bot so let's try the bot itself and uh yep so bot returns true so that is about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like on my video don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you happen to run in any problems be sure to join my discord server uh we're at about 210 members i think so we are growing pretty quickly and uh yeah again thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers it means a lot to me guys and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.